In this video, we're going to talk about uh, checking the ears and examining the ears. Some dogs are very sensitive around their ears and a muzzle may be required uh, to look in their ears. Most dogs, however, will examine, will allow a basic ear examination um, and Oscar is, is pretty good. With dogs as well, they have different shaped ears. Uh, some have more of a floppy ear uh, and some the ears are sticking up. So with dogs with a slightly or majorly floppy ear, we need to reflect the ear or the ear pinner um, in order to look at the ear. Now, the anatomy of the ear is important for ear examination and ear disease. And the dog's ear canal is shaped like an L, where we have the vertical canal and the horizontal canal. The vertical canal is easily visualised, whereas the horizontal canal, we usually need to use an otoscope to have a look. And then at the end of the horizontal canal, we have the eardrum and then the middle ear and the hearing apparatus. The horizontal canal often is a source of um, infection when we have trappage of um, you know, gunk and debris or bacteria or yeast, uh, which can um, flare up at a later time and cause an infection. This is a dramatic uh, representation of a very inflamed ear uh, where the canal has become narrow and the ear would be very painful in this case. And we also have infection of the middle ear where the infection has, has passed through the eardrum um, to cause fluid buildup within the middle ear. Also, um, with the ears, Dogs can get foreign bodies, such as grass seeds in the ear. So if a dog's got a problem with sore ears, it's not always due to an ear infection. Now with examining the ears, uh, we need to reflect the ear as, as we mentioned, and then part any hair to have a look down where the ear canal starts, which is at the outside aspect of the ear. So there's lots of cartilage folds and then we have the ear canal starting here and then travelling down and then across to the, the horizontal canal. So the vertical canal runs down here and then the horizontal canal runs in towards the brain um, and the eardrum separates the outer ear from the middle ear. Cleaning the ear we can use either a tissue or uh, gauze. I would never recommend using a cotton bud, um, but just vigorous wiping. And you can moisten the tissue or cotton bud to remove any debris which is accumulated in that outer ear. Ear cleaners can also be used, and these will help loosen up any debris which is accumulated in the horizontal or vertical ear canal. Some ear cleaners can be uncomfortable when used with pets. Um, there are many different types. Um, we use one here which has a um, sort of dissolving effect on the wax. And we will instill enough of the ear cleaner to fill the ear canal and then loosen up the wax and do the wiping as shown previously afterwards. So the nozzle, and there'll be various different types, will go down towards or into the ear canal and then we'll squeeze enough uh, liquid to fill up the ear. Then after the cleaners in the ear, massage below, so we're massaging on that vertical canal and then naturally afterwards the dogs will shake their head so it's a good idea to do this in an area where you can uh, clean the walls or do it outside and then after the dog shake shaken their head we can wipe the ear out again 
um, to remove any uh, wax and build up that they've, sh they've shaken up from that vertical or horizontal canal. Good boy.